neither. I'm sorry. I don't know what Houston's front office is doing. This is malpractice. Maybe they're trying to just drive up the cost. Drive up the cost on Kyrie. Oh, Dallas. on both guys? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, get Philly to pay, overpay hard. Yeah, and more get importantly, Dallas get, to get Dallas Kyrie. to overpay Kyrie. I mean, maybe yeah. that, Little right. Texas if they're, if they're playing games like yeah. that, that's fine. But uh, chess. signing one of the – and maybe they are doing that. Man, that, that makes more sense mm-hmm. than just wanting one of these guys. No disrespect to those two because they're all all-time greats. But Houston, I don't care who you bring in – one of these guys, who's realistic that you bring in? You're not winning. At best, you might get in the play-in. What you want to do in Houston is develop your young guys, both on the court and in the locker room in terms of their character, in terms of their leadership. Why, James Harden quit on two teams, including Houston, and if he leaves Philly, you might say he kind of quit on them because they're at least in the contending level mm-hmm. and he wants to leave them. And so why would you bring want him around your younger players? All right? And on the court, he's going to take shots away from the guys you mentioned, Jalen Green and Jabari Smith and Shin Goon. Kyrie now, on the you other hand. Me mind meld you into what, But Shin Goon's a good player. I he's like a good Shingu. player. I don't think we I mean, need to run a lot of plays for him. But no, go ahead. Well, well that's, the, that's the blessing of him, that you don't have to run a ton for him, and yeah. he can still do things. But – and then Kyrie – yeah, let's stay. It's even worse of an example the, for the young people. Like, what are they thinking? No, I, you might be right because that's the only thing the, that makes sense. All right, I, I look at the Harden and Kyrie thing very differently because Harden, there is the history with the. I'm, bro, I'm just telling you. I think if when it comes to selling tickets, generating interest, Kyrie bringing, would do that too. But, but, right. But hold on, let me just deal with the Harden stuff first. Mm-hmm. Understanding the that. We're going to have to spend the money somewhere. All these guys are on rookie deals. There's history there. We, there. There might be some real want to from that player. I can understand how you might talk yourself into it, even though I totally agree with you, I wouldn't do it. The Kyrie and thing. one year deal, too. If the, that, even then, I wouldn't want it because I want the The Kyrie guys thing is bananas. It is. Remember the idea that I threw out there? Uh, and then I realize other people have as well, but. Of the Spurs going after Chris yeah, Paul, yeah. Yeah. it's like that except the exact opposite. <laughs> it's it's like bringing in the veteran point guard with the young team to show them how to win and be a professional, or to give them a very quick course on how to potentially blow up any situation they're in. Like it makes if you are the number of teams that would swallow hard and say, "All right." I'll, I'll run the risk and I'll get in the Kyrie Irving business is so short or it should be so short because it has to be we're trying to win right now. We have a, a bigger personality than him in the locker room already. All of these things. It's the opposite of Houston. Yep. He could have the best season of his career by a mile. They're still not going to win anything. He is not a great distributor. You have spent Two top, what, two number two picks or two top three picks already on Jabari Smith and Jalen Green, Mm -hmm. guys who need the ball and need to learn how to be pros and how to play winning basketball. Kyrie has never been the best player on a winning team. Right. None of it makes sense. So if if it's just like getting back together with your ex, with James Harden, so be it. And that's no way to run a friend. I agree with you, but it would not be as objectively insane as, as paying Kyrie Irving a ton of money right. to come play for the Rockets. So, Houston got Ime Udoka. It was, I think it was the That's first. That's another thing, because Ime's a defensive coach. Well, yeah. Which one of these dudes is defending? Well, maybe he thinks that he can instill defense into a young team. But here's the question. He was the sought-after coach when they were going to, I guess, in the middle of his suspension, remember the Nets were going to hire him yep. and the league yep. stepped yep. in because then it was going to be a Kyrie Adoka yeah. kind of u- reun- not reunion, union to sort of get the Nets over the hump. But it feels like he wants to win. He just had the Celtics in the finals. Do you expect him to just have a bunch of rookie, a bunch of young guys, the number four pick, and be like, all right, let's don't see what we can Dylan do? Brooks. No. Or, don't, or and, and Dylan Brooks. Or it's like, you know what? Give me a superstar. Let me make some noise. No, look, I agree that you don't want just a team full of young you guys. You need some veterans. Who are all you trying be to prove smart themselves. With who right. the veterans are. I, I said it before, and look, I get it if Chris just wants to go to a winning situation. But Chris Paul, of all these three, 
Chris oh. Paul's the one point guard I would want if I'm Houston because he's going to show them how to win. Mm. He's going to be a leader of that team. He's going to make them smarter basketball-wise. And on the court, he's not taking shots away. No. He's setting them up to yes. get shots. Yes. And so that should be the guy, if Chris were willing to do it. Now, I know it wasn't a great run in Houston like Harden had, but – there's I mean, some he did play there, at least. Right. Uh, both players free agents. Here's the resume tale of the tape. Nick, who do you think had the better NBA legacy right now, so, Arden or Kyrie? So, objectively speaking, bro, if we are just being removing all emotion from it, it's not close. It's James Harden. James Harden has won an MVP, come in third, three, or second three times, six top five finishes, Three scoring titles, two assist titles. Kyrie's got none of any of that. Never even gotten a single MVP vote. Has never won a scoring title, assist title, any of it. Objectively speaking, Harden's got to be higher on everyone's pyramid. When I did my 50 best of the last 50 years, I, Kyrie was a very easy not included in that top 50. Harden was somewhere in the top 30. However, oh my goodness gracious. here's what I would say. Harden's definitely higher on every pyramid. But who do you think has the more braggable legacy? Who do you think has the cooler legacy? Who do you think has the longer lasting legacy? The guy, 30 years from now, if people remember James Harden, what will they remember? Unbelievable regular season player who just fell apart year after year in the postseason. If someone brings up Kyrie Irving, what will they say? Maybe hit the biggest shot in NBA history to win a title alongside arguably the greatest player in NBA history or second greatest player and was quirky and weird. Like, I well, think as far as history goes, yeah. Kyrie will be remembered more fondly, even if Harden clearly was the more accomplished player. Does that track to no, you at I, all? No, I think that tracks very much. Um, Kyrie, I, and I've said this. Kyrie is going to be iconic. Yes. Because what you failed, you're right. Arguably the biggest shot in NBA history. Some might argue Ray Allen yeah. or a couple of others. One of the biggest shots. To me, shots it's ever. one of the top two. Yeah. Okay. Only 3 1 comeback in the finals and averaged 27 points a game in those finals. And best handle in NBA history. Now, I, I believe that. I think many people believe that. It's arguable at the very least. Yeah. His game is so. And, and some people have said this. And. It's arguable, depending on how you define Skill. skills, that he's the most skilled player ever. Yeah, so Kyrie is going to always be iconic. We're going to always – we talked about Pistol Pete during the break. Like that kind of icon, maybe not quite Pistol Pete, but he's going to go down like that. But I agree with you, Nick. Harden has had the better career. Now, some people might say – well, Kyrie's got a ring and was not just a role player. I mean, no. he hit the big shot. And was awesome in the next year's finals. Right, they right. got rolled, but was awesome there too. But here's the thing, and, and we talk a ton about rings and postseason performance. Mm. Where that really, really, really comes in is when we're talking about GOAT debates or top 10 players of all time, top 15 players of all time, like that. There's a level of player that it doesn't, Robert Ory's got seven rings. Would anybody say he's better than uh, uh, Ray John Rondo uh, or, you know, Jimmy uh, Butler? Jimmy Butler? No. You wouldn't say he's better. Rondo throw. Jimmy Butler? I wouldn't say he's even better than Rondo. But Jimmy Butler? No. You wouldn't even think about Rondo's saying that. Rondo's got a ring, too. Come right, right. But a couple. He's got two. Yeah. But so Harden is in that level where the fact that he hasn't won a ring can, really takes away from I his legacy. You a question? Because he was a number one. He led great teams. In Houston, he had some great teams, and they couldn't get a ring. Kyrie has never been number one on a great team. And if Kyrie didn't have a ring, would we be like, man, is Kyrie going to get this ring? Is no. he, he got to get – No, because no, he's not he's that not level. He's not that level, so hard. Oh. Wilds, who would, you, who's like, who, who would you rather be? Who would I rather be? As a 55-year-old retired player, they both have all the money in the world. Would you rather walk into the room as on the court – forget the off-the-court stuff – with Kyrie's basketball what reference page and basketball Wikipedia or Harden's? Kyrie. I mean, I think the major difference is Harden was brutally yet had an ugly game that was efficient. I'm going to get to the rim, hook you, get that foul, get to the line, and Kyrie kind of does the opposite. I'm going to avoid you and put up the most beautiful layup. Yeah. Who would you rather be? 
I guess Kyrie. I thought so. Assuming he makes the Hall of Fame, too. He's going to make Which I think he will. Everybody makes the Hall of Fame. Well, I've said he's a Hall of Famer a long time ago. Brew, you know what? I think Brew was the first person on (laughs) Honestly, I might have been. (laughs) Kyrie, I I was saying he was a Hall of Famer a long time ago. (laughs) He's number one pick. So? Just just in general. Does that mean you're a Hall of Famer? I I think it's better than a coin flip. (laughs) Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.